Hello everyone, this is Migs for DR on the go and today we're gonna be unboxing the Huawei Y Max. It's such a beautiful day today so I decided to do this outdoors for once. Anyway, let's open it up and I have to say from the get-go, I do not know anything about this device. I haven't done any reading on it except for the fact that I know for the fact that it's worth around uh, 17,000 pesos so it's definitely in the mid-range somewhere in there. So. Um, see if I can get this opened there we go we're just gonna rip this plastic open there we are Huawei Y Max actually before we uh, continue with the unboxing let's see if it has anything to say for itself Huawei Y Max Y Max Y Max can I show you that oh, maybe I can show you this part Huawei Y Max model ARSL22 color Amber brown, Ooh, that's oh no, actually, that brown is pretty common color these days. ROM 128 gig and RAM 4 gigabytes. Oh, that's pretty high storage, high capacity storage, I mean, and nothing on the back. So, pretty minimalist box, I'd say. There we are. We have the phone, but we'll have a look at that later. Let's put this, put that here for, for now. I'm secure. Check contents if seal is broken. Yep, yeah, definitely broken the seal up right now. Oops, can't you show you that? That's probably important for warranty purposes. And let's see. Uh, actually, before we open this, before we open this up, let's see what else is in here. We've got a. Hmm, what is this? Huh? Oh wait, here it is. Huawei Quick Charge switching power adapter. Blah blah blah. It is. Oh, that's really small. Can you see that? That's 10 watts or and goes up to 18 watts. So that's pretty fast. 18 watt fast charging is pretty much appreciated, especially at this price point. You'd be surprised how many uh, mid-range devices still don't have quick charging as standard. So I'm just gonna put that aside here in this box and we'll see oh, what else is here. Hmm. We have a warrant that we have a warranty card. We have a quick start guide and we have ooh, a silicon case that's always it's always pretty nice to have and I really like it whenever uh, smartphone makers include these because you know you don't you wouldn't want to scratch up your new nice shiny new phone yep so we're gonna put that away for now and let's see what else do we have here that's micro USB cable I wish it were type C at this price point but hey micro USB works just fine for most cases and of course we have your earphones nice quality earphones so yeah that's all the included accessories you have your silicon case quick charging charger micro USB cable earphones and your sim removal tool let's look at the device itself let's see let's move it in the bag there we are. Just gonna, just gonna put that here. <laughs> Let's focus on the device. And ooh, huh? I was not expecting that. This is a leather phone. Is that leather? Wow. Well, I'm. I guess it's uh, like faux leather. Like uh, it's not. It's, it's not the real thing. But that's pretty. Oh, I haven't seen that in a long time. I believe the last time I've seen this design is on the Galaxy Note 4, I believe. Let's remove this and get a better look at that. Ah, there we go. These are just instructions and I understand how to put in a SIM card. Anyway, let's see. AI camera, rear fingerprint reader, Huawei, Huawei Technologies, yep. I wish they used a more subtle font color for uh, these uh, warning labels here. But hey, I guess it's still a leather phone that's pretty stylish. I, li I like it, you may not, but hey, that's up to you. Let's open it up. I've set up the WiMAX now, and going back to that display, it's pretty massive. At like 7.12 inches, it, it makes my hands look absolutely average. It's got that small water drop notch and the brightness, well, it goes very bright. See? And it goes very dim as well. And so much, so dim that I might not actually be able to. There we go. It's fixed. It's good. It's all good. 
Anyway, I've looked over the specs of the WiMAX and it's rocking a Qualcomm Snapdragon 660, 4GB of RAM, 128GB of storage, and of course, that massive, massive 5000mAh battery. For the cameras, it's got a 16 megapixel plus 2 megapixel depth sensor at the back and an 8 megapixel selfie sensor at the front. And of course, it's rocking MUI 8.2 on top of Android 8.1 Oreo. Hopefully, that gets upgraded to Android 9 Pi somewhere in the future. But for now, it's it's actually pretty smooth. Like, yeah, that Snapdragon 660 does wonders even at the mid range. And sadly, there's no app drawer, but that's par for the course for MUI and let's see what else is there ah of course we're gonna launch a video and see how loud the speakers get so yeah the speakers go very loud it's the bottom speaker that does most of the job but covering it up that uh, front firing speaker also does a very good job of uh, being very loud for the cameras uh, I'm gonna snap a few photos for you and I'll be right back so here are the sample photos and uh, I have to say that I pref much prefer the, uh, the the AI off because it tends to uh, oversaturate stuff like these uh, trees over here that, are, that looks like a very uh, bright uh, neon green as opposed to the more natural looking uh, greens at the default. I'll snap a quick selfie here. And as you can see that's a pretty decent looking uh, selfie although that's a lot of beautification going on. I'm gonna have to actually turn that off because that's not representative of how good looking I am. There we go. That's the mix we all know and love. And I guess that's it for the Huawei WiMAX. Thank you for watching and like and subscribe for more unboxings like this. Oh, and be sure to check out our first impressions article linked below. Bye!